As most of you guys know, I recently uploaded this video. I project myself outside of myself and I talk to myself when I'm speaking. And so I recently uploaded this video and it was a mirror re-upload from Pocket Watcher JT, who's doing an excellent job over there on his channel, keeping the people aware of scammers in the community. And the name of the video that I uploaded was High Level Scamming uh, Bill, on Billy Carson. So you can check out Pocket Watcher JT channel for that. What I wanted to update everybody on was that JT have received a, a cease and desist letter from Billy Carson's team. So JT made a video since then talking about the lawsuit. And boy, did he really go in on this video. Salutes to Pocket Watching with JT. Let's go ahead and review and react to this video. Well, unfortunately for him, he's facing a very big lawsuit. Uh, from me so he'll be getting served very very soon because this information cannot be proven in the court of law as positively accurate it's actually inaccurate which gives me very good information uh and also i get a chance to now uh sue his homeowner's insurance policy and mm -hmm. i'm going to start doing that to everybody that wants to play this kind of game i had i got four you know dudes like billy carson are the worst kind of scammers because y'all scam people then when people try to come out public, y'all try to bully them and silence them. You know, and you think that this is going to scare people. It's definitely not going to scare JT because he apparently dot all of his I's and cross all of his T's. Let's watch the video. Four Instagram accounts completely deleted, completely deactivated. Hey, Pocket Watchers. Do you want to know what it's like to have an expert in space aliens threaten to sue you. Let's go. This is Pocket Watching with JT. All right, guys. So I recently did a video covering Mr. Billy Carson. And apparently, Billy isn't too happy with the Pocket Watcher. Wasn't a fan of the video. And I know this because his legal team just sent me a cease and desist letter. And in the letter, they basically say that they want me. No, they're demanding that I remove my video from the internet. And that the points that I made in that video, I know are false. So I do not want to be guilty of spreading lies on the internet. So let's go over each point that I made in the previous video and let's see if they're false. I want to give y'all a warning right now. If you are a Billy Carson fan, get out the room right now because this is about to break your heart with these kind of receipts that this brother about to show, man. Let's get it. And then you take my face and put it on some shit that's in a bad light. I'm out here making money, man. Your top priority when something happens in business that doesn't go right is to go and replace that income. That's your top priority. Point number one, Billy Carson sells online cryptocurrency training courses. Well, you can tell right here with this website, Billy Carson does sell online cryptocurrency training courses. So I'm guessing that's not one of the points that Billy is upset with me about. Mm -hmm. Point number two, his education. Now, in the letter, I can tell that Billy wasn't too happy with the way I characterized his education. Why? As I said in the video, I can tell after listening to him just for a few minutes that he was not a Harvard graduate. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, based off his LinkedIn profile, he does claim that he was educated at Harvard and MIT. But if you look closer, you'll see what type of education he had. Certificates from both of them. Oh my God. You certificate having ass nigga. These some free certificates that anybody can get offline. This nigga talking about here a Harvard graduate. He fucking went to MIT and it's an old certificate ass 
criminal history as scum of the earth, scamming as low life. Let me tell you something. Y'all shouldn't fuck with Billy and you shouldn't fuck with none of the platforms that fuck with Billy. This dude's a damn agent. He's an imposter, a fraud. And y'all should know damn well that you ain't gonna find a nigga that graduated from Harvard that's teaching you about aliens and shit. Show me one dude that graduated MIT and Harvard and they up here teaching about the Anunnaki and shit like that. As you can see, from Harvard, you can get a certificate in ancient civilizations in six weeks. And this nigga got, bro, this nigga, let me tell you something. Anytime you get a certificate in six weeks to teach you about your ancestors, you know you out of tune. You ain't going to do nothing but go out here and hustle the people and regurgitate the same misinformation that's keeping us going in circles. Ain't none of these guys really tapping into the spirituality of their ancestors and really tuning in and linking up with their ancestors on a spiritual level and probably don't even conversate with the ancestors, but they go and get a cheap certification and act like they experts at everything ancient. That's how I know I'll mop the flow with Billy Carson in a debate in ancient civilizations in six weeks and it is 100 percent free and here you can see that you too can get a certificate from mit in neuroscience in six weeks wow not very impressive point number three the name change now this nigga spent a year this nigga spent Less than six months to get two certifications from MIT, one from Harvard, just so he could tell niggas he got an education at Harvard and MIT. Boy, this is high level scamming. I've had many, many, many Billy Carson fans come on my video in the comments and say, Pocket Watcher, you don't know what you're talking about. Billy Carson never changed his name. And these damn fanatics be acting like they really grew up with you and know you and shit. He was a victim of identity theft. Mm. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. These things are public record. So right here, you will see from Broward County, Florida, the actual case file of Billy Carlson, K A. R L S O N William Tyrone Carlson changing his name to Billy Carson is right here. It's on the Broward County website. If it's wrong, then Billy, you have a beef with Broward County, not pocket watching with JT. And last point number four and point number four to me is the biggest point. Billy, this nigga is on your ass and he ain't gonna get off it. You might as well sit your ass down somewhere, scam as many people as you can while you can, cause the community, dude, you're gonna be exposed as a fucking alien believing fraud, a pseudoscience teaching ass fraud. And all the platforms that you associated with, we coming out to them too. This is an army, bro. You need to realize that. So you getting with your damn lawyers and all that with the cease and desist and all that. Bro, ain't nobody scared of that. We got the real receipts that your ass is a fraud and a scammer. And I'm saying that out of my mouth on the motherfucking thing. Prove me wrong. It's the receipts out there. You can't sue me for defamation. You ain't going to do nothing but help us blow this shit up and make this shit popular. To me is the biggest point based on the letter I received from Billy Carson's legal team. Based on this cease and desist letter, Billy is not very happy that I said that he was apparently a grifter. And listen, Billy, I didn't do it to hurt your feelings. I only said it based on the definition of the word. So let's take a look at the definition of the word grifter. 
grifter, a person who engages in petty or small scale swindling. Now, at this point, you have to ask the question, JT, why would you say that this man is apparently a grifter? Good question. Let's take a look at the Broward County court system. According to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, William Tyrone Carlson, also known as Billy Carson, was arrested for fraud charges. Let me tell y'all some. There's a whole coalition of scammers and frauds that work together. You need to look at all the platforms that house these dudes because they've done their homework on these dudes. Y'all need to subscribe to this brother, JT. He have a very powerful channel, man. It's Pocket Watch It with JT, and he do these on a lot of people. Uh, he even exposed world star hip-hop for a scam. Uh, so all the scams that, that's plaguing the country's community, he's on top of it. I'm going to join this brother channel and eventually become a member because I really rock with what he's doing over there. And uh, if you ain't scamming, then you ain't really got to be scared of JT. He doing a community of service. Now, you need to think about all of these platforms that's housing these scammers and giving them a voice to speak. And you need to go to JT channel and bench watch his videos and uh, check out the one he did with World Star Hip Hop because that's going to teach you that just because somebody got a big platform don't mean they ain't scamming and that they won't allow somebody on their platform to come take advantage and scam you. We think because we see people on a big platform, you know, that you can't be scammed, but they all scamming together, the scammer and the big platforms. So I'm not going to uh, go into that now, but... A platform don't have to directly be scamming. But if you accept money from a scammer to and allow them to promote their products on your platform, far as I'm concerned, you're a scammer too, even though by law we can't call you that. Even though by law, right, we can't call the platform a scammer, right, a grifter. By law, we can't do it. But by morality... And by being just a person in this community, people, we ought to go ahead and make them own up to that, too, that they are doing business with the scammers and that they didn't do their homework on them. Because this platform, Earn Your Leisure, 19 Keys, that's Billy Carson, second home. And that brother, 19 Keys, he's not in it for the right reason. He's in it for the money, and you can tell. You can tell with these brothers' energy and they message, it ain't no good for the people. It's all about how to how to incorporate with AI and technology and get your money up in the digital age. It ain't really nothing about your spirit. And when they talk about anything, spirituality is alien talking, a little bit of watered down pseudo stuff like what Billy be on. This stuff got to stop because... The people that's at the forefront speaking on behalf of the ancestors, it ain't nothing spiritual about them. These are crooks, criminals, and scammers, and it's time for the community to quit being naive and start to call this out uh, and, and, and because we're the ones being taken advantage of, and it's only going to continue if we act dumb and, and allow ourselves to be victims. Let's not only put out let's not only push back at the scammers let's also equally push back at the platforms that's housing these guys because if you so deep and so knowledgeable with the esoteric science and all the head and occult stuff how didn't you find billy carson's criminal record how y'all got these crooks and criminals and people with histories of fraud on your channel promoting stuff Birds of a feather flock together, folks. And I find it strange that the biggest platforms in the black community is a haven for scammers and frauds. It says on December 18th, 2013, the defendant, William Carlson, was arrested for using a fictitious ID card in the name of Charles Rubin to fraudulently 
open a Chase checking account. And you y'all be looking at these dudes and they got on nice watches, expensive suits. Like Billy Carson got his money up and all that. And a lot of you young brothers, y'all be hurting y'all self. And you be thinking to yourself, what is Billy doing that I'm not doing? And you may beat up on yourself. And I know you ask yourself that question. You say, what is Billy doing that I'm not doing? The answer is scamming. <laughs> Quit beating up on yourself. A lot of y'all are saying, man, that's a successful brother. He in a high position. How do I get there? Brother, if you want to scam and have a criminal record and, 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 and you ain't got no integrity, then you can sit at the seat with the devil and the devil will bless his followers. All right. Now, the devil will bless his followers quicker than the most high righteous God would bless his because the devil is the Lord of this world. I don't believe in a mythological red dragon. I'm speaking in parable. People that get rich real quick is some sort of cheat code or compromise they, they've taken to be there, and you shouldn't be envious of that. A lot of y'all look at these guys and you beat up on yourself, but what you got to realize is you have integrity, and a lot of these guys, they take off quick, but they lack integrity. They done got over on their people. They don't got a good record. And, and, and if you just want to rise to the top real quick because you ain't got no patience, then you willing to give up something. You willing to give up your integrity, your honesty and all that. And now you're going to have this kind of card over your head, which is the scamming card, the fraud card. And guess what? People going to play that card on you. That's going to be a stamp on you. Is it worth it? All right. You may look good, drive a nice car, but everybody going to say, man, that dude's a fraud. He's a scammer. You losing your integrity and trust with the people. And to me, either way it go, if you work hard at some long enough, you will be successful. It's just that some of y'all ain't got patience and you want to do it overnight like Billy did. And when you do that, this is where it leads to. Take a look at the Broward County court system. According to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, William Tyrone Carlson, also known as Billy Carson, was arrested for fraud charges. It says on December 18th, 2013, the defendant, William Carlson, was arrested for using a fictitious ID card in the name of Charles Rubin to fraudulently open a Chase checking account at Chase Bank. The officer states, I read defendant Miranda warning via card, which he waived and admitted that the license was fictitious. Defendant advised that he purchased the license off the street in Miami. Defendant advised that he went on a website netspin.com, where he was able to acquire the credit card. Defendant advised that his credit is bad and could not open an account under his real name. This is why you shouldn't be beating up on yourself when you look at niggas like Billy Carson. So what we read is Billy was a grifting, broke-ass nigga with bad credit. <laughs> and how this man get to the top so quick is by scamming and frauding the people. And, and people, I don't think he never stopped frauding and scamming the people. This is who he is. He's a grifter. He just got good at it. And he's able to do it now under the radar. And he's able to do it to more people now because he's only going to get badder and badder. You only get badder and badder at this stuff. So our only hope is to make sure that we stamp him with the grifting stamp, with the fraud stamp. And you're able to do that legally because we got paperwork where he have a criminal history of it, just like a sex offender.
if a person is a sex offender, you can say that all in the public and can't nobody get you for defamation. If anything, they got to thank you for warning everybody. Even the sex offender got to let it be known he's a sex offender. So in this case, a person that's a scammer or a fraud, they don't got to let it be known. But you can and you won't get in trouble either. Further investigation revealed in 2013, the defendant opened at least six credit accounts using Tony Bellamy's real social security number without his authorization. You don't need to be comparing yourself to these dudes, especially a lot of these dudes that just popped out overnight in, in a position where you've been working your ass off to be. Don't you envy them. There's a such thing as grassroots doing it by the rules in the right way. And there's a such thing as if you cheat and you're going to go, you're going to make it to your destination faster. But at what cost? See, it's good to know that when I die. Can't nobody ever say I was a fraud or a scammer. They can't say it without me filing a defamation lawsuit. Because ain't no paperwork on me with a criminal history like this. And a lot of people that's at the forefront in these communities are ex-criminals. They just got out the feds. They are uh, foster home children. They grew up in the system. They county niggas. Like, they working with the fed and all these different dudes that grew up in the system with the jail time. And now they on YouTube making money, talking about aliens and community work and shit. Boy, that's an agent. Y'all better wake up. In a sworn statement, Tony Bellamy advised that he does not know William Carlson and did not give him permission to open the credit accounts using his social security number. These dudes is your typical ass crook in the hood. And y'all be thinking these dudes are like these minister ass Harvard graduates and all that. But y'all folks. Stupid. The community's so naive. And I'm going to tell you how the community get like this. We came here to escape the normal earthly day to day hood shit and to be deep spiritual beings connecting with our ancestors. But what happens is we lose all of our street sense when we start becoming conscious. Niggas start eating fruits and namaste and inhale the good prana and all that little shit. All that is good. But nigga, don't lose your street sense. Because the, the, the black conscious community have straight up gotten so uppity and spiritual and so high on a spiritual cloud we don't even know how to spot a scammer. We can read the future. We can touch crystal balls and tell a nigga what's going to happen. We can do gematria, syncretism, sacred geometry, but we can't tell when a motherfucker is a snake and a fraud and scamming us out of some money. <laughs> Yo, I done heard motherfuckers say that they can levitate they doing telekinesis and shit, but scammer still is, is winning in a community. How everybody in a community got all these superpowers, but then nobody see the scamming coming to, to, to rob all these innocent folks. We teaching these folks about chakras and all that shit, but, you, but, but next thing you know, every month, one of their ass getting scammed out of thousands of dollars. You can help they chakras and kundalini and all that, but they got scammed next month. We got to be balanced, man. Don't give up your street smart because a lot of y'all go to activating your kundalini and shit and you just become dumb overnight to all the goddamn regular shit. Son, you're not balanced. All right? Tony Bellamy desires prosecution. For those of you who are asking, well, JT, what happened in the case? Apparently, William Carlson took a plea deal. So, Billy, you have to understand, based on the records at Broward County, it's understandable that I would say that apparently you're a grifter. 
All right, guys, what is the lesson of the day? Today's lesson is never poke the pocket watcher bear. I'm not here to spread lies on anyone. I'm only here to help you understand how investing really works and how to properly vet a person or a company before you give them your hard earned money. I want everybody to go sub to this guy pocket watching with JT. So people, let me tell you some what I learned from watching pocket watching with JT. Let me tell you what I learned from JT watching these videos he doing. I was thinking to myself watching JT, why so many scammers are successful in the community. Then I was watching JT's world star video and I said, I get it. They have a platform. We giving them a platform. A lot of people like the Breakfast Club, World Star, these big channels and stuff, they will create a comfortable place for the scammer to scam the people. And they don't got to worry about facing any kind of criminal punishment. The scammer do. The scammer taking the risk. But the platform can just accept money from the scammer because you just paying me to promote on my platform. And they can always say, well, I didn't know he was a scammer. And by law, they good. But I think the law should persecute them too. Because on these platforms, they be saying how they so knowledgeable, so wise, and so esoteric. But you didn't know a scammer was on your platform? That's why I said, we so spiritual, we ain't physical no more. You done lost your street smarts. Or either you playing dumb because you're scamming too. I haven't watched any of JT's financial advice videos, but he seems like a legitimate guy that's not going to give you any shortcuts or cheat codes, but the raw things that you need to do to have financial success. Or the, for the best of your ability. All right. And he seemed like a legitimate guy at, who's pointing out the different people out here that's promising you a cheat code to success because he seems like a brother that's just going to be sincere. All right. But with that being said, there is no quick way to success without it coming back to hurt you or the people that you're selling the product to. So if you put if you if you write a book and you write it real quick just for money, you're going to put some misinformation in that book. Right. When you do anything real quick for the bag, you're going to hurt somebody, including yourself. And what I'm saying, a lot of us black content creators with big platforms need to really vet the people that we bring on, because what we're trying to do, unfortunately, in black YouTube is create a cheat code to success. We trying to create a cheat code, easy way, quick way to success by saying, you know what? I'ma just blow up allowing a popular personality to come on my platform. But a lot of these popular personalities are scammers. And so when you say, well, I'm a cheat, I'm just going to take the shortcut, right? Instead of me building a legitimate platform and bringing on some decent people, I'm just going to allow all these scamming ass, no integrity having, dishonest people onto my platform. And in exchange, my platform will be successful quicker than the man next door who was just working from the ground up. And y'all know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of platforms that don't offer that in original. They just a face and a brand to allow the big personalities to come and speak on their stuff. And that's part of the problem, man. Let's do the hard work. Let's literally build something that's of quality instead of try to take the easy route. And I'll end with this. Black people spend our money on quality things. We, we are the number one consumers. We like Louis Vuitton, Gucci. We like the top high-end name brands. 
But when it comes to actually creating something of our own, we want to do it quick and cheat it and have a get rich quick scheme and be half ass lazy with it. If we had the same approach to building something of value that we had to purchasing something of value, we'll be in a better position. And I'm going to end with that right there. I love y'all and I'll see you on the next one. Peace and much love.